going on guys? Welcome back to the Justin Hawk Smith channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below. So today's video, we're gonna be installing Amp Research, the power steps that come down whenever you open the door on my 2006 F250. She's a little under the weather right now. We're actually putting on a new lift kit. So she is tore apart in the front. And then after we get the front done, we'll have to tear apart the back. But that's not what today's video is about. But if you're interested in that, don't forget, click that subscribe button. We'll be doing everything here on the YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and lower the camera down. Maybe zoom it in a little bit. I'm not gonna do a full blown unboxing video but everything comes in this big box. And then I'm assuming right here is your two actual running boards. So you're gonna get those. You have three boxes right here. You've got box number one, box number two, and box number three. So hopefully in one of these, there are directions. We will start with box number one. Okay, so it says installers, please do not throw this away. So I'm assuming this is the directions. So we don't need these. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna keep these. Looks like you get a pretty nice little amp research sticker. It is a uh, like an acrylic sticker, it's not just like a vinyl sticker. So 10 out of 10 on your stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and read this over. It says, uh, tools required, goggles, measuring tape, screwdriver, flathead, Phillips head screwdriver, 13 millimeter, eight millimeter, ratchet wrench and extension, wire crimpers, wire stripper slash cutter, 3 sixteenths hex key wrench, Allen wrench, four millimeter hex key wrench, Allen wrench. Electrical tape, 9 30 seconds drill bit and 25 64 drill bit. Weatherproof caulking or silicone sealer. Sounds like we're gonna be cutting some holes in the old truck today, boys. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got some uh, some LED lights. Okay, okay. With grommets. Uh-oh. With grommets. It says it says that. With grommets. Wiring harness with integrated LED lighting systems. All these little uh, yellow pieces of paper I'm gonna I'm gonna put in here. A lot of customer service. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed to get this thing out. This is the wiring harness. And then, I don't know, this a thing that I like to do with wiring harnesses is I like to just lay them out on the floor and just like look at them. I'm going to lay this all out and then try to hopefully learn the wiring harness and then I'll explain everything. Okay guys, so we are going to go ahead and jump right into this on the first page. You have to attach the motor. So this is your motor, you're gonna get two of them. There's one motor per running board. And then in box number one and box number two, you're gonna get one of these in each box. And this is pretty much a leg that has the motor assembly, uh, the place where you can attach the motor assembly. And just like it shows in here in the directions, you're gonna attach the motor to that. So this is three bolts and the bolts are taped to the motor. So you literally just want to set that down. Each bolt gets a washer. So then we're just gonna run these bolts down through here. We're just gonna put those all tight and snug. They already have yellow Loctite um, on them. So obviously you don't wanna put this down too tight or you would break this. This is plastic right here. So just get it down snug, and then there is one motor attached. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to box number one or two, whichever one you just now done, go to the opposite one and get the other one. So exactly like we just now done, you've got your motor here, and there's one gear on the back that you're gonna drop right down into there. So you're literally just gonna drop that gear right there into there, line up the holes, and run the supplied bolts through. And just a little quick tip, um, if your gear isn't lining up, all you have to do is just kinda wiggle this and then that's gonna spin that gear. So just move this until your gear drops right into place. Don't You don't wanna force it. Okay, so now we have both of the amp steps from box one and box two. There was one of these 
inbox one and then there was a matching one uh, with no place for the motor so pretty much that's what box one and box two looks like you have one with the place for the motor one without so we're gonna go ahead and set those back in the box and then move along the directions and see when these will come into play and when we'll use them or what we do next also in the meantime I've got my wiring harness laid out uh, it's pretty much it goes from one big connector a smaller connector splits off goes to uh, a positive and a negative which I assume is going to go to the battery and then these are your harnesses pretty much that go to your running boards so one is longer than the other meaning one would be for one side one would be for the other side whichever is further away from the battery is going to be your longer one so on and so forth um, on this it does have a positive and a negative lead uh, and that is for your lights and then these plug right there directly into the motor and then you've got your amp research um, ECU or computer pretty much whatever you want to call it that's right there and that's what is going to plug in to the main harness up in the front that's that's where that's going to plug in so y'all just hang tight there for just a split second and I'm going to read on through the directions and figure this out for y'all and then explain it. And guys, I can't stress this enough. As you're working on a project like this with so many parts and pieces, clean up as you go along. So get everything out, lay it out, organize it all. Just, you know, find you a big flat area, organize it all, clean up all of the wrappers and garbage. So just like, for example, on this job, um, I just put all of the garbage, I'm putting it in this bag. So sometimes a huge bag of bolts can look very, very uh, intimidating. But once you get it all organized out, you know, put your washers together that are one color, washers together that are a different color, all of your bolts, uh, you know, other bolts, little nut certs and things like that. Just set it all and organize it. And it makes the job feel so much uh, simpler and easier. You know, you've got all of your zip ties right here. You've got that. You've got your motor. If you just organize it all out, it's not so intimidating, and I feel like it helps you stay on track and keep on following along with these directions. So pretty much, this is gonna work for the Excursion or for the Super Duty 99 through 07, I'm pretty sure. Hold on one second. So on the Super Duties, the motor linkage, which is this one, uh, is gonna be mounting in the rear of the truck. So right here on the diagram, the front of the truck goes that way. Uh, motor linkage assembly mounts in the rear, idler mounts in the front. Okay, so your idler is gonna be the one that looks exactly like it, but just doesn't have a motor. Um, so next up, we're gonna be going ahead and mounting these up. It looks like uh, if you have the excursion, you do have to drill a hole in the body for the rear linkage. Use a 25 64th drill bit. So these holes should already be here if we have a Super Duty, which we do. So we're gonna go ahead and lay underneath there and I'm gonna get all of this kind of jigged up. I'm working here by myself. So I'm gonna get it all on there loosely and bolted up and then I'll go over everything with you. So before we move on any further, these bolts right here, we'll be using these washers and we'll be going into these uh, little sir clips, the threaded clips. These washers go to these bolts and then these Allen head bolts don't have any washers and they go on the bottom of this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the motor assembly attached and on the truck and then I'll show you on the truck uh, what it looks like and how everything worked. Okay, so I've got the motor mount back here and the idler mount up here. And then let me crawl under here and show you. So you're going to be using the Allen head bolts on the bottom right here, which is what you'll be able to see. And then up in here, you're going to be using the nut certs or the, the clips or whatever, whatever I'm trying to say. And then those top two bolts are just going to get the clips and they slide into the factory holes. I don't know if you can see them back there. And those are a 13. The idler uh, mounts exactly the same with the 13 millimeter bolts up top. And the Allen heads right here on the furthest front ones on the door, the furthest two holes on the door. So obviously not these because they have holes plugged. 
and obviously not these middle ones because that would put your support way too far back. So you just want to go ahead and mount these up. Okay guys, so I've got the idler arm and the motor mounted on both sides. Uh, but before we continue, what okay, we'll focus. This is Bad Habit 6.0. I'm gonna put a link to his YouTube channel down below. Y'all go give him a subscribe and check him out on Instagram. I'm also subscribers today. He just hit 100 subscribers today. I'm also gonna link his Instagram right here. Y'all go give him a follow on Instagram. He just wanted to say hello to the Justin Hawk Smith family. Heck yeah, guys. I love being on the channel. Just wait until we meet up at Rod Runs. Oh, yeah. We're going to do some collabs this year at Rod Runs. So y'all be staying tuned for that as well. <laughs> now that we have the mounts, as you can see, hanging down uh, for the running board, we're going to move on. This is going to be step number six on the instructions. We're going to take our module, and it's going to go, if you're looking straight at the truck, like looking at the hood, underneath the hood, it's going to go on the left side of the engine bay. So don't laugh at me, but the truck's kind of tall. So in order to get up in here and uh, put mount this, All right, guys, so I'm going to quickly explain this to you. So your harness mounts right here, and it has two plugs on it. Um, of course, just like it says right here, make sure that you get the rounded pieces plugged in correctly so you don't damage the, uh, the pieces. So that plugs directly in, and then you've got another plug right here. And coming from this module, you have three leads so to say you've got more than three leads but you've got three hoses or three sections of loom whatever you want to call it so you've got one one loom that runs and it just has a positive and negative that goes to the battery you want to go ahead and pull the fuse and hook that up and then that will be done and ready to go went ahead and pulled the fuse i'm going to hook that up then you've got a shorter side that goes to your passenger side running board then you've got a longer side that goes to your driver's side running board. So that's what we're going to work on next. So I'm going to get all of the engine bay tidied up and get all of this stuff ran. So I went ahead and ran the passenger side. I just took this hose and dropped it right back in there. So that will be the shorter side. And it does help if you remove your fender liners so then you can see it coming out and down and then I, I put one zip tie right here to hold it ran it in between the frame and the cab and then that goes all the way back through there and then just keep it above that and of course we'll zip tie all of that later and reorganize that and make it look pretty clean um, so next you have your purple trigger wire and this is what you're going to splice into the factory harness and this is what is going to trigger uh, and send power to your amp steps to come on. So there is a grommet right here. So you want to just pull this kick panel and then pull your carpet back. And the grommet is right here. So you just want to poke a hole in that and then run the purple wire up through it. So I ran the purple wire through that grommet right there. And that goes directly into the cab. And now we're gonna be splicing into one of these wires. I have to figure out which one. Uh, hopefully it tells us in the directions. And then I'm gonna put some zip ties on all of this stuff. And this side should pretty much be done. So I'm now running the driver's side um, harness. So I'm gonna put two or three zip ties and attach the new harness to that factory harness through there. I took these two 8mm bolts out of the degas bottle, dropped the degas bottle down, ran the wiring harness in behind it, underneath it. Um, you don't have to do that, you could run it over top, I just feel like it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, it's just two 8mm bolts to do it a little bit better and a little bit cleaner. So I've got it to right here, and now I'm going to drop it down, run it along the frame. Same, same thing as the other side, we're going to puncture a hole into the grommet, run that up, find the trigger wire, and then plug these babies in. 
and we also have to take apart this door panel and do a couple things behind the door panel so we will get to that here in just a second I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this ran back eat me some food right quick and then we'll be right back so now we are on the driver's side you want to go ahead and pull out both kick panels lift up the carpet same thing on this side guys there is one grommet you want to poke a hole in it and run that purple trigger wire through and then I still have to figure out what color wires this is a 2006 F250 I had to figure out what color wire is the door ajar trigger wire and then that's what you splice the purple wire into and then we also have to run something over here to the door I haven't made it that far in the directions yet but we have to take this driver's side door panel off and I have a video on how to remove these door panels but pretty much you just pop this switch panel out uh, you want to pull it from the top so you pull it from the top forward unplug everything and then there's a couple I think it's six millimeter or seven millimeter bolts uh, you want to pull out this reflector with a flathead screwdriver right here push it in right there pull that side out and then there is also a bolt behind that so one bolt two bolts unplug all this and also pop this cap off you just pull on it so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off read through the directions get everything figured out and then I will report back to you all so just let me do the thinking so you don't have to hey okay, guys so in here it says 2004 to 2006 with keyless entry which is my truck so it says coming from the front there's gonna be a gray with a red stripe which I have this spliced onto. So you literally you have your purple trigger wire coming from the grommet. It runs into this, which is supplied. All it is is a double diode uh, splicer, butt connector. So you just squish that onto the purple wire. You have one lead going to the gray and red with these little quick connects, and they come with it as well. Make sure that you put the gray side on first so the gray will go onto the wire that you're connecting into and it just squashes onto it with a little bitty pointy thing and that's what gives it the connection. Then on this side you have a pink with a light blue stripe. So I'm about to take this and thread it in there to where it will look exactly like this and it'll all be connected. Then I'll hide all of this underneath the carpet, put this side back together and the passenger side is completely done other than just mounting up the actual running boards. So that's all the wiring to do on this side. And then we're doing pretty much the same thing on the other side, except there's a little bit of an extra step. On the other side, we had to take off the door panel and do a little extra wiring, but still super simple, straightforward. So far, I give this install a 10 out of 10. They say that you have to be a three out of four. Watching this video and explaining everything to you, I really feel like the skill level on this would be like a two, maybe. Uh, I mean you literally only need like two tools, three tools, two or three different socket sizes and some Allen keys. So as quick and simple as that, literally just tucked everything down into that channel, put some zip ties, held it all together, and then put all these seal plates and kick panels back on and we are ready to move on to the other side. So now we are on the driver's side and it comes with this little plastic tube and what you're going to do is you're going to run this little plastic tube through the uh, it looks like a harmonica kind of or not a harmonica it looks like a it looks like an accordion it's like the little rubber like sleeve that's inside the door so you run this through there and poke it out through the other side and then you're going to run your wire that you attach to the door a jar wire that's right here and uh, I just took this right here and you take this little bitty tab, little, this is what I found works best, and I just hung that up here on the, on the door thing, like on the unlock. So I'm gonna take this tube and reach it up through here. After I snake this through and run this through, I will show you what it kind of looks like. So I had the plastic tube ran through there, and I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this, but if you look right there, it's not going to focus, but that little bitty white part is the tube sticking out. So that's where we're going to take our wire and we're going to attach it to whichever color wire it says to in here. It shows all the different gear models, so each vehicle will be different. 
and into that white tube, slide it all the way through the white tube and bring it down into here where we're gonna splice into it just like we did on the passenger side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and I'll show you and then we'll go from there. So I ran this red wire down in behind the emergency brake cable right back through there and then through here with this factory harness. So after I get all of this stuff spliced in together, I will show you what everything looks like. Okay guys, so we've got this red wire spliced to the yellow and black one. It goes through here, through that white tube, remove the white tube, then you've got the red wire that comes down through here. Okay, let me go ahead and pull this up so you can kind of see. So remember, we've got our purple trigger wire, and that goes into our double diode splicer. One end, one spliced end will go to the red wire, and that's it. And then your other spliced end is gonna go in here and connect to a green and yellow, a green and yellow wire. So now that we have that set up, I'll show you. See, one of these is just a dummy one, so it's not gonna move. But if you look at that one right there, and of course, don't pay attention to all the wires hanging down. Uh, we shut the door and the step goes up, we open the door, and the step comes down. So all we have to do now is just put the steps on, and then of course hide all of this, all of your wiring harness that's hanging down, zip tie it all up, organize it all, and uh, just follow the instructions on the piece of paper. It shows you how to get them perfectly centered and all that stuff. See, where's it at? So it shows you in the instructions how to get them centered and measured properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and completely finish this job and then I'll show you what they look like after. I've gotta tuck all of this up, zip tie it all, put all the kick panels back on, put my door panel back on, and then I'll show you what they look like on the truck and opening and closing them. Okay guys, so we've got the amp steps completely installed. We still have to splice in the, it's just a positive and negative with the little lights that it came with and then of course zip tie everything up and hide it. But here's what they look like whenever they are up. They're not really visible. I mean they sit right at that pinch weld. So they're not visible at all and of course all these wires and everything will be gone like once we get those zip tied up and tucked away. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my camera up on the tripod and then let you all watch them come down and so you can see. And I already measured it from the seal plate. So right here I'll show you whenever you open the door. Opens up super nice. From right here on the seal plate, it drops it down 14 inches exactly. So whenever we shut the door, we go up, completely gone. Looks so good guys. Same thing over here. And of course, after we put those accent lights on there, uh, there will be a light like right here and like right there, and it will light up the running board for the people that get in at night time. So pretty much walk up, running boards come down, go up, open the back door. Thank you all for watching. This is how to install amp steps. Hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you all in the next one. So thank you all for watching the video. Sorry if I wasn't in the best mood today. Yesterday I actually had to bury my dog. Uh, he was 10 years old. Not to bring a downer to the big amp steps. I freaking love him. Uh, but rest in peace, Diesel. He lived for 10 years. He was a German Shepherd. I'll throw a picture right now for all the dog lovers out there. So if you all enjoyed this video, uh, I didn't see any 99 through 07 F250 uh, amp step install videos. So I figured I'd make it since I was throwing them on anyway. If you're watching, if you liked today's video, click that subscribe button down below. Leave this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next how to video. Click that subscribe button down below like I just now said like 150 times. And I will see you all in the next one. Always remember, everybody starts out as a nobody. Peace out, guys.